Hey, join me. I jump on Spirit, fly down to Disney, and take a $2 bus from the airport to Disney Springs. Boom. If that didn't make you seasick, stick around. Check it out. What's next? All right, so I'm doing something I never thought I'd do. When I was here in April, we took a lot of Ubers from place to place. At this time, I've heard there's a $2 bus. Didn't ask for a dime. $2. It runs from here to Disney Springs, which is right where my hotel is. So I'm on Terminal B here in Orlando, and uh, I need to be on Terminal A. So I'm gonna walk over there and see if I can find $2 bus. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. again for the wind. Uh, not sure how all this sounds if uh, it's bad on the cables. Alright, I think I'm the only tourist. So 3.37 and we hit our first uh, I'm pulling the camera closer and that helps with the mic who's ever here. Um, so now it's our, our first transfer station and on to the next one. I think there's three stops and I could be wrong. So, uh, so far, so good. We're making some progress. We've seen some familiar icons now and I kind of know where I am. We're just uh, just chugging along 404. So maybe another 20 minutes. Maybe getting some familiar Orlando vibes here as the I4 heading into Disney. Because now I know where I am. It's kind of set up like a Disney bus a little bit. It reminds me of it. It's austere. But it's certainly it's pretty similar. It's two dollars. There he goes. Alright. That's it guys. That's the links right behind me. It was uh about an hour and ten minutes. I just, you know talked about it a little bit. I'm not sure if any of that got heard. I'm never sure if anything gets heard. I, uh, I am now at the furthest possible spot from where I need to be. So, I mean, I'm beyond the edge of Disney Springs. But that's alright. It's not a big deal because it's two dollars. Two. Two American dollars. So now I can buy whatever I want at Disney Springs. No, maybe not whatever. All right, so look, here's the real question. Would I do that again? Sure, but it was no big deal. <clears throat> it wasn't, I, I didn't have anything to do tonight. I'm gonna go to Magic Kingdom in a bit, but I mean, I'm gonna check in. I'm a little tired, not feeling great, so not my usual self, like there is a usual self, uh, sorry. But, you know, with the kids, probably not. You know, would I come over here and then take a bus to a hotel from here? I, 
it certainly works. It certainly, uh, it was fine. I mean, I had no problems, found it pretty quickly, jumped in it. Again, the, the secret is it's at terminal A, so not B, which is where I went first. And uh, it runs like every half hour. Now, I didn't get like any of the cool bus stops, if there are any. So, got a little bit of a walk, but through Disney Springs, oh, and I have to get security for my backpack. Got a lot of stuff. That's the other thing, you know, I'm here for two days, and so I've got everything in just a backpack, which is great, but, you know, would I want to roll my luggage across here? I don't think so. I would. Oh, pardon me. But I might not choose it. And going back to the airport on Sunday, even though uh, it does start running at 5 a.m., I think I'll probably call an Uber. I'd be just too nervous. I'd miss something. So, that's it. Do it. I think it was great if you were coming by yourself or, you know, you and, like if Kay and I were doing it, I could roll a suitcase through here. I see it happen all the time. This is where I get to just be whatever and nobody yells at me. Um, the family, I don't know. I don't know. Probably won't do it when it comes down next month with Seamus and his friends. So, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful because I don't, haven't heard much about it. Again, the big thing is Terminal A. Oh, you got to have cash. Two dollars. Cash. Cash or a Lynx card. So make sure you got two bucks if you need it. Oh, Splitsville, how I love you so. I don't really have much to say about the M&M store. At some point in time, I need to make it my life's goal to really try every restaurant. All right, so I've landed, ridden the $2 bus, now I'm walking over to my hotel. So I think what we're gonna do from here is have a little stroll. Uh, might stop and get something to eat, because I'm a little hungry. And then uh, drop the bag off, check in, and head over to Magic Kingdom. So, let's hang around for a minute, see what we get for uh, eat, and then go see me. I thought about Everglades for a chicken sandwich. But I'm just not sure. I think I want something quick because I really want to get over to Magic Kingdom. There actually were some Tron lightning lanes left, but I don't think I can do it unless I'm inside the park. Maybe I should try that right now. Learn something new on this every, every day. Nope. That's gone. That's all right. I didn't really expect to ride Tron tonight, but it might have been an hour earlier because I was on the plane when uh, when the virtual queue opened up. So come see, come see. The real goal is tomorrow, May fourth, May the fourth. So now I'm really dating this video, but tomorrow is the reason we're here. Tonight's just icing on the Mickey-shaped cake. All right, I ended up getting a little chicken guy. I have a little bit of a chicken guy problem. But I wanted some fast. I know it's good. 13 bucks for a meal. Coke, two sides. Just can't go wrong with it. Then I'll walk the rest of the way over to the hotel. And then into Magic Kingdom. So, this should be fun. There's the old Wyndham rising up in the distance. There's the Hilton over there. But we're going to the Wyndham. I think before I do that, I'm going to pop into Joffrey's and get a little caffeine because not at 100%. Huh? There's Basin. I feel like I should go in there just because my wife would want to. It's so weird being here on my own. I already feel pretty dorky. And now this. Now I'm just some lunatic with a camera talking to himself. Walking through Disney. I don't know. Maybe I fit right in. Told you I was dumb. I walked right by what I was looking for while I was talking to myself near Stitch. How are you doing?
Can I get a sheep? Really? Really not on top of my game. I forgot. I think I get a discount there as a pass holder. Because I'm trying to keep track of how much money I save over a year in just discounts. I messed that up. Still good call. Ugh. Back to the stairs. Why do I keep doing this to myself? Full backpack? I gotta make better choices. Alright, that's where we're headed. I can honestly say, I've never been this far down this road. Now I've never been this far. Now I've never been this far. It's from Modern Family. It's stupid. I gotta get in better shape. But don't worry, I'm not gonna start a YouTube channel about it. I'm also to the hotel. Over here at the Wyndham Lake Buena Vista. And I think it was about, I feel like it was 75 to $100 cheaper than the Hilton next door. Uh, I'll put all the prices down below, just so you know. I like these Disney uh, neighbor hotels. It's not quite as magical, uh, but you still get a lot of the benefits. And if you're going to go eat at Disney Springs, like we do a lot, I mean, it's right here. So, I mean, look, this is really pretty. So far, good landscaping. Nice live oaks. So, we'll see. There's a cheerleading convention in town. I can't remember what view I got. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to drop this stuff off, maybe sit down for a minute, try not to fall asleep, clear out my ears, take some medicine, and then head over to Magic Kingdom, which I will probably take an Uber because I'm running short on time. But let's go check out the lobby and the Port Cushare. Pretty. Eclipse. Got a bar over here and sundries over this way with Joffrey's right here in the lobby. Now that makes me happy. Thanks, Joffrey's. Got a little self serve CVS. That's nice, because I may need some cold medicine later. I can just come down here anytime I get it. There's daily breakfast buffet. I wonder if that's included. I didn't ask. I don't really eat breakfast, so I don't really care. Are you serious? Look, I don't know if it's Disney, but it's... Sure is nice. Sure is nice. All right, I'm thoroughly lost. I'm at 1004. I thought it was like up in a tower, but I guess not. I guess it's more like an old style hotel. 1026. But I had to go from the lobby down to the fourth floor? It was a little confusing. But still, it's really just some place to hang my hat. If I had a hat. Like that probably just goes to up of this. This is weird. It's really big and kind of like drawn out. There's 1031. All right, I think we're going the right way. All right, 1026, 1025. Just kidding. All right. Well, it's a little Spartan, right? But that's okay, dude. It was $100 a night. Let's turn some lights on, see if it gets better. So, you know, a bed. Ooh, a window, parking lot view. 
some beautiful hooks. Television. I can combine it. They've gone with the HGTV barn door. There you go. Again, nothing amazing, but it looks clean. It smells good. And uh, it'll certainly foot the bill for what I'm doing. So look, it's not the, it's not the most impressive room. It's true, but it's okay. And uh, so I'm gonna take a little break here and uh, maybe call my family because I miss them. Because It's weird being here on my own. And then, uh, yeah, then we'll head over to the park. All right, so I'm not gonna get to enjoy this pool much while I'm here. Popped in yesterday afternoon, checked in, ran over to Magic Kingdom, and then uh, got back late last night, bed, then shower, now off to enjoy May the 4th. But I thought before I go up and get some coffee, we'd take a look at, at what we've got over here. So this is, this is nice. They got a pool bar called the Oasis Food. Splash pad zero entry for for little kids. Sometimes big kids. I might do a zero entry. No, I mean this place is uh this place is nice. I, I would certainly stay here again. Again, it, 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 I'm not gonna go, oh man, I can't get right to get back to the Wyndham but the price was certainly right you know a hundred dollars I do hate it when they add on the resort fee just charge me but you've got a hot tub over there and that's where our room was last time we were up in that looking down but I couldn't see the pool from there so this is you know it's been a day out here be fantastic so overall I, I give this hotel you know like a B uh, and it's probably really like if you, if you cared, it would really be more like a C plus. Um, I didn't get to try the restaurant, so it's not fair to really judge on that. But I mean, most of this stuff is, you know, it's an older hotel, sits out on the lake, which is pretty. Um, the lobby is very nice. Staff has been great. So I, I don't have a lot of complaints about the old, uh, The old Wyndham. So that's my review. If you were coming here and just wanted a, a quick place to stay, uh, rest your head and close to Disney Springs, um, I, I like it. Again, it was way cheaper than the Hilton, which is over there behind me. I can't really tell in the sunlight if you can see it or not. Uh, you know, definitely a, a better value. And yeah, I mean, the Hilton's nicer, but I like this place. So thanks for watching. Hit subscribe and uh, have a really big day.